Alright, what's up you guys? It's Teresa Mycelia again, and today I'm out here in the woods with my mushroom buddy, Phil Stalemitz. And today we are collecting specimens for an event called Mycoblitz. And Mycoblitz is an uh, event that anyone can join, and we're basically collecting specimens and sending them out to go get sequenced. We're uploading all of our data onto this app called iNaturalist. And we're drying out our specimens and sending them out and someone will sequence them and hopefully find out more about their DNA and this information can help um, scientists learn more about the ecosystem and we might even discover a new fungi. Um, there's so many fungi that haven't been discovered yet so it would be really cool to find something that hasn't been described yet. Yeah, you guys should check out Mycoblitz. Um, Basically, I'll put the website on here so you can learn more about it. But yeah, anyone can do it. It's nationwide right now. So yeah, dry out some specimens, send them in for sequencing, and help scientists learn more about biodiversity in the woods. So ugh, I think that was pretty good. <laughs> God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no fucking way. Call that one Big Woody. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Big Woody. You little. Oh, big. He's a big guy. He's beautiful. How does that even happen? Let's go with the guy who fouled it up there and suggested it was a lightning strike that somehow oh, eventually really? caused this to form. What? That's fucking cool as shit. Yeah. I want to get a selfie with it. <laughs> oh, I think I remember. Wait, is this? <gasps> Lion's mane! Or, uh... Bear's head. Bear's tooth. I think we were here last year. That one. Oh my god. It's so cute. Oh, I wish I had my camera. It's all washed we out. Usually that. it's... There's some slime holes in here. I might get lucky and get this a few more This might be hands. a good log. If there's one, there might be more. It's an old beach log. Old rotting beach logs are great places to look for mushrooms. This looks amazing. Might be the last toe hen ever built out this long. No. Just in time for the micro books. I'm glad we found that though. That's cool. There's water right here on this side too. Sweet truffles down here. What a nice log. Ooh! Oh shit! We got um mixomyrium nuclei. <laughs> it's like I thought it was Tremella fusiformis at first, but this one has like little nodules in it. That blob we're looking at? Yeah. Whoa. So there's like little, I think it's like calcium nodules. There's one over here. You can kind of see the nodule right there. I've never seen that before. It's like white. It's down here. And there's something over here. Oh, that's. So this is bear's tooth mushroom, and it's kind of similar to lion's mane, but as you can see, it's like kind of more branchy looking. So we're gonna take this home, fry it up, bread it, and fry it up. And it should be pretty good. I don't think I've actually tried the bear's... It's bear's tooth, right? Bear's comb? Bear's... I think it's either bear tooth or bear comb. One of those. But, yeah. So we're gonna try that out. Got lots of Panella stipicus over here. So this is a bioluminescent fungi, which means in the dark it'll glow a little bit. It has to be like super, super dark to be able to really see anything. 
but these are really cool. They're kind of like velvety on top. And then we got some trophy tails over here. Really beautiful medicinal mushroom. There's a bunch of them right now. Pretty cool slime mold. What? I'll bet you can get a badass what? time lapse of that <gasps> right there. That looks fresh. Yeah. And growing. Wow. That's a lot of slime mold right there. Yeah, it is. Ah, oh, that would be a really cool time lapse. It's probably like pulsating and shit. These deer mushrooms, Pluteus cervinius. Pluteus. Okay. Yep. I'm not sure of the species. Mm. Some kind of ploop. Ploop ploop. Ploop ploop. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out you guys, we got some gnocchi mushrooms here. So these are fam Famulina Bolivica some shit. So these are ones that you can find at the grocery store, gnocchis, but they actually look way different in the wild. So I'll put like side by side pictures, but... Yeah, these are an edible mushroom, and I actually haven't tried these yet, so maybe we'll take a couple and fry them up too. Try them out. One of their common names is Velvet Foot, and I'll try to see if I can show you why. So you can kind of see, like, this is velvety, so the stipe is pretty, it's just velvety, so Velvet Foot. So that's one way to really check and make sure that it's enoki. So yeah, we'll take a couple of these home, try them out. Apparently, if you stick them to the roof of your mouth, they will stick. <laughs> I think you're messing with me. It doesn't stick. <laughs> well, I'll try it. Lick your lip just a little bit so it's not like real wet, but just a little bit. Ah. <laughs> okay. That's a weird little trick I never heard of before. And you can do these with waxy caps too. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Wax caps stick pretty well. Some more resinous polypore, Ischnoderma resinosum. Pretty sure I'm saying that one right. You can see there's a little resinous. This is why it's called the resinous polypore. It's it juicy. We're gonna take this home and fry her up. It's not, that's its appearance. What, is it, is it gilled? Oh yeah. Wow. That's yep, that cool stuff one. on the stem rubs off. Hmm. Maybe we should stop here for a few minutes, huh? Maybe. Is this another one? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I think there's They're more. all over the place. Yeah. Oh wow. 
That yellow stipe is really cool. This is freaking gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, I was put it put this up. Ampulo clytosopy yeah. in fundu something or another. Yeah, ampulo clytosopy. Oh, ampulo clytosopy? Is this it? Ampulo clytosopy clavipes. Yeah, I was mixing that up with a different one actually. Yeah. There's another infundi. So. so we think we have a helvella right here. This one's a saddleback. This one's kind of messed up, but there was like a little piece that like folded in so it looked more saddly. But this one looks like it's growing on this pine cone. Have you ever seen them grow on pine cones? No. I don't know. It's weird. Maybe it's something else or I don't know, but we're going to sequence that one. Twenty-one degrees and sunny It's just the way I always wanted Told by the God of oh, Sun Oh, you got me rocking side, two side. <laughs> oh my You're god, putting I'm putting that in the video <laughs> no for way. sure. That was great. That's just as good as your Seinfeld impression. <laughs> Beep boop bop bop boop boop bop. <laughs> oh my god. Funny. <laughs> oh, cool. Yes. That's gonna be awesome. Hell yeah. It's uh, R, R, I can't pronounce it. Aspiculum comes to oh, mind for me, but I don't know that that's right. I know it starts with an A. Yep. And it's fucking awesome. That's all I know. Cool. Good one. I was hoping Hell we'd yeah. find that. So, INAT says its common name is the ear pick fungus. Yeah. Oh, Ari scalpium vulgare. <laughs> Is that how you say it? Uh, Ariscalp... Ariscalpium vulgare? Something like that. Something. Ariscalpium. Cool one.